Over the weekend, a college volleyball match saw racism hit the stands. On your screen is Rachel Richardson, the lone black starter on Duke's team. As the video continues, one indication leads the mind to notice one fan potentially confronting another. Next, the immediate reaction from Richardson's teammates. In sync, they glare in the same direction, appearing peeved at what may have been said. Thing is, as this moment was captured in a short clip, it is alleged that this occurred multiple times. Lisa Pamplin would write on Twitter, my goddaughter is the only black starter for Duke's volleyball team. While playing yesterday, she was called the N-word every time she served. She was threatened by a white male that told her to watch her back going to the team bus. A police officer had to be put by their bench. Not one freaking adult did anything to protect her. I'm looking at you, BYU. You allowed this racist behavior to continue without intervening. Apologizing to her parents after the fact is not enough she will soon be sharing her story. Rachel's dad is Marvin Richardson. He is a top official with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Uh, I've met Marvin several times. He's a fraternity brother, an alpha brother of mine. What he told me was, uh, was disturbing. What he told me was shocking. Roland Martin then gave us the scoop. He said that the captain of the Duke volleyball team, after the game, went up to the BYU head volleyball coach and told her what, and said, why, how could you, uh, like, why would you do anything? According to Marvin, that player was told by Heather Olmstead, who's the head basketball, head volleyball coach, but BYU, what, BYU um, what was I supposed to do? At no point, at no point during this volleyball match did the BYU volleyball coach stop the game and address the, address the audience and address anything. Here is the coach at Brigham Young, Heather Olmstead. The Duke Chronicle reports this of Olmstead. Marvin Richardson told the Salt Lake Tribune Saturday that his daughter was scheduled to meet earlier that day with both BYU Athletic Director Tom Holmo and BYU Women's Volleyball Head Coach Heather Olmstead, but that Olmstead did not show up. Marvin Richardson emphasized that Holmo was very remorseful from my understanding of my daughter's conversation with him. I think that is an issue, Marvin Richardson told the Tribune about Olmstead's absence. As far as I'm concerned, the coach is the first administrator on the scene. You are the coach on the floor. For her not to be there to give an account for what I believe to be nothing more than out of respect for the player and situation, for whatever reason she did not appear, that in and of itself sends a message. Pamplin noted on Twitter that the players did tell match officials of the incident and that no action was taken other than having a police officer come over and stand by the bench. She was threatened by an adult male and he wasn't arrested on the spot. In an interview with the New York Times, Marvin would add, here we are, it's 2022, and we're dealing with the 1960s issues. Richardson grew up in Fort Worth when it was still desegregating per the outlet. The bigoted fan, who is not a BYU student, was banned from all athletic venues after the game. Still, there is no doubt Richardson was failed by those who could have helped. Pamplin would add, he had floor seats with his two kids. You want to know how racism is taught, in my opinion? You have a father who is alleged to have had two kids with him. They saw what their father was doing. They heard what their father was doing. Do you believe, even with this criticism, that behind closed doors at home, that this is going to stop? The conversation's going to end? Of course not. And as I was taught, and many others in my community were taught, this is from the passing down of one generation to another. And we call that Lador Vador. BYU should immediately suspend this volleyball coach and BYU should launch an investigation and hire an outside firm not associated with the university to lead this investigation. There's no way in the world in 2022 that a black student athlete whether they go to BYU, Duke, or anywhere else, should have physical front, should be facing 
racial hostility when they are trying to play a game. After the match, Richardson released a statement on social media which read as follows. The slurs and comments grew into threats which caused us to feel unsafe. Both the officials and BYU coaching staff were made aware of the incident during the game, but failed to take the necessary steps to stop the unacceptable behavior and create a safe environment. As a result, my teammates and I had to struggle just to get through the game instead of just being able to focus on our playing so that we could compete at the highest level possible. They also failed to adequately address the situation immediately following the game when it was brought to their attention again. No athlete, regardless of their race, should should ever be subject to such hostile conditions. BYU, whose student population is less than 1% black, has struggled with creating an inclusive environment for its students of color, according to a February 2021 report by a university committee that studied race on campus. The report found that the university lacked institutional support for its few students of color, failed to recruit and retain a diverse student body, and had a faculty far less diverse than the national average with less than 7% of faculty members being people of color.